Would you like to introduce the next fellow? Oh, he's just awesome. He's also young and virile and studly and all those trick media words. But he's a delightful guy who has such a marvelous and exciting future in this sport with which I've been associated so long. And I've had the pleasure of being around him and working with him and running against him and getting whipped by him many, many times. I want to introduce to you Chip Hanauer. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Chip Hanauer here, Boat Guy. And today we're here at the Hydroplane and Raised Boat Museum here in Kent, Washington. There's something really special happening. The Unlimited Hydroplane and Raised Boat Museum, they're the ones that have kept the history of powerboat racing alive. They restored some of the most significant boats in the history of the sport. One of those was the 1982 Alice Van Lines boat. In over 30 years as a professional race boat driver, I drove a lot of boats, but there was no single boat that was more important to me than this boat right here, the 1982 Alice Van Lines. As Hanauer begins to pull now down inside Chenoweth, and Challen almost completely off the water, as look at this tremendous charge by Hanauer. How he's keeping the boat under control is completely beyond me. Hanauer completely up in the air, but he still maintains his position along the butt. The butt sitting solidly in the water. Chenoweth holding the lead. Here comes Hanauer. They both pour on the power, pour on the nitrous oxide, and Hanauer forges his way past the butt. A dream about to come true for Chip Hanauer as he accelerates for the last time across the line and Chip Hanauer has won the Gold Cup. And look how happy he is as he waves his arm to the crowd and continues really at full speed. It's the finest day I've ever had in my life. I'm so proud and I hope Bill's happy and my team and Mr. Frisbee, it's the happiest day of my life. <laughs> My opportunity to drive the 1982 Alice Van Lines came from really tragic circumstances, and that was the loss of perhaps the greatest race driver of all time, Bill Muncy, who died in 1981 in Acapulco, Mexico, in this boat, the Blue Blaster. Of all the boats that the Hydroplane Museum has ever restored, perhaps this boat behind me is the most significant. This is Bill Muncy's boat, commonly referred to as the Blue Blaster. Bill Muncy's Atlas Van Lines, and that's why we're here today. Hey, the ultimate veteran, Bill Muncy, right there. Hard hat in place, getting ready to go. They're taking the engine out of my restored 1982 Atlas Van Lines, and for the first time since Bill's untimely death in 1981, they're taking that engine and putting it into the new restored new blaster. <laughs> So, obviously there's still a lot of work to be done on Bill Muncy's Blue Blaster. But you know what, today was significant because they took the engine out of my 82 Alice Van Lines, got it in here, that allowed them to get the linkage hooked up, the shaft line all worked out, so pretty significant day today. When this boat runs again, there will not be a dry eye on the beach or in the world of unlimited hydroplane racing. It's going to be spectacular when the Blue Blaster runs again and throws that beautiful rooster tail. And I don't mind admitting that over the years I pushed the rule book right to its very limit, but of course that's what the rule book's there for. That's the reason why we have rules. And to drive within those rules, that's part of the gamesmanship of it all. And I think that also represents a certain amount of confidence that you have when you come on like that, come on strong. And everybody is going to have a, you know, a problem playing catch-up, and that's a good position to be in. 